the end of the year, what I wanted to do was to change my computers to Windows 11. This particular computer that I'm on right now is not compatible, but I wanted to I wanted to change to Windows 11. But I thought, you know, first of all, I have to check and make sure that I'm not getting into trouble. So what I did was I checked all the applications and I and I checked my uh, uh, peripheral devices and uh, I came up with some problems. So here's what I want to talk about. The reasons to switch, the reasons not to switch, or I just don't care, I like the way it looks, I'm going to switch anyhow. So let's take a look in more detail. The reasons to switch. Number one, it's free on all machines that meet the standard. It's a nice looking interface. I only use my computer for the internet, so why do I care about all this other stuff? Windows 10 support ends in October 14th, 2025. Now let's take a look at the reasons not to switch. Number one, this webcam will not work. Now if you've owned a Logitech webcam going from Windows 7 to Windows 10, you may be aware of the circumstances that um, you know you didn't have drivers that that did the job in Windows 10. At least that was my experience. One or more of my apps may not support Windows 10. And that's the case. In fact, there's one free app which I use all the time and that's Audacity. And that app apparently has some issues right now and it's listed on the Microsoft site. Okay, my favorite old software may not work. In fact, the application that's recording this right now is Camtasia 2018. Now, it works fine on Windows 10. If you buy the new version, then I believe that works. My printer may not work. Now, let's see if I can give you an example. I have a Brother laser printer. And if you go to the Brother website, it will list the operating systems that it's compatible with. Now, I have this particular model which is compatible with Windows 11, but if unfortunately you have a different model, you may not have the same look. And the other thing is, your scanner may not work. Your printer may work, but your scanner may not work. Now, I've seen this issue before with uh, you know these combination units. Uh, you've got to check each one, make sure that they're gonna work. Now, another machine that I've dealt with, the Windows 7 machine, which I upgraded to Windows 10. That machine, after I changed it, the DVD player couldn't record anymore. You couldn't write a DVD or a CD. So if you just don't care and you're gonna switch anyhow, here's what you'll need to know. The first step you're gonna make is to make sure your computer's compatible. And uh, you can check the Microsoft site and you can download something to, to check your system. This machine is not compatible. If you go ahead with the update, make sure you back up the important files. Once you get everything done, you may need to update your old programs as well as your old devices. So step number seven, once you've got your Windows 11, just be happy and have fun figuring out Windows 11 because I've heard it's a little bit different. So between now, 2022, when I'm recording this and 2025, I think they'll get things sorted out They'll try to make people happy. Also during that time, we may be buying new computers anyway. So lastly, before you go, click the like button if you like this. Stay tuned and I look forward to seeing you soon. Okay.